most people don't know who they are. And when you don't know who you are, you are unconsciously looking for someone to tell you who you are. In this teaching, I will encourage every person to see their worth and their value. And most of all, to see themselves as God sees them. God says that you are chosen. God says that you are blessed. God says that you are healed. And your identity should be wrapped up in God's image and his likeness. When you know who you are, you won't have to cave in or capitulate to what the world wants you to be. Do you know who you are or has someone stolen your identity? I want to talk for a few seconds about why it's important to have our identity in Christ. Um, when we put our identity in temporary things, material things, it's very dangerous because we should never have our identity in something that we can lose, right? Money, we can lose money. Um, fame, you can lose fame. Popularity, you can lose that. Marriage, family, all those things are possible for us to lose. Um, but we can't lose Christ. The Bible says that nothing can separate us from his love. The Bible says that he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. So we are human. So we all are tempted to sometimes have a proclivity and an inclination to find our value from and our worth from things that we accomplish, things that we do. But if I put my value in money, well, what happens if I lose my job? If I put my value in relationships, well, what happened if I lose that relationship? If I put my value in how many likes I get on social media, what happens when people don't like my posts on social media? So I want to encourage you guys with this thought. Your value comes from who you are in Christ. And when you know your value, you know, you don't look for validation so much from the world. Like you don't need as many compliments and you don't need as much affirmation because you understand that God has affirmed you. And I think getting affirmation is so powerful. Even when Jesus was baptized, when Jesus came out of that water, God affirmed him. He said, this is my son. I'm well pleased with him. So before Jesus started his earthly ministry, he needed affirmation from the father. He didn't need um, compliments and affirmation from his disciples. He just needed it from God. And, you know, that's just something to think about, guys. So the question I wanted to ask to you guys today is who are you? Who are you? And the answer should be, I am whatever God says I am. My identity does not come from my race. My identity does not come from my agenda. My, my identity is rooted and grounded in what the Bible says that I am. And so the reason that I want to do this quick video is because, you know, I talk to people all the time, man. And you know, sometimes you can just tell that people get their value and their identity solely from where they work or solely from what they do for a living or solely from their appearance or solely from their race. And I want you to know who you are in Christ. The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. The Bible says that we are kings and queens, man. We are royalty. And so, you know, when you have them days where you feel down, when you have those days where, you know, when we are tempted to find our value from external things and validation from external things and our accomplishments and our degrees and our net worth, just remember that if all of that was stripped away today, you will still be valuable. You know why? Because you belong to Christ. And he thought so much of you. He thought you were so valuable that he was willing to give his life for you. So remember that, guys, your identity is not in material possessions. Your identity is not even in your relationships. Your identity should be in Jesus Christ. Have an awesome day, guys.